colleague of mine was asking about software simulation specifically to be deployed with responsive design in mind. So I hadn't done that before, but I did a little research for them, figured out what the process essentially was, and now I'm going to share it with all of you. So let's take a look at this. So the first step in the process is much like any other software simulation, we're going to record a software simulation by selecting software simulation from the splash screen that's here. We're going to create. Now I've opened up uh, an Expedia window on my web browser. And much like you would usually, we're going to select the application. In this case here, I'm going to select the website itself. I don't want all the browser stuff, so I'm just going to select application region. So it's going to choose just the browser window. And I'm going to go with automatic. We're going to do a demo. Um, you could also select assessment, training, and custom if you've created your own custom software simulation settings. I'm not going to choose panning, and I'm not going to choose narration, and I'm not going to choose system audio. You could check your settings for any of the different uh, types of recording uh, by clicking the settings button. That's going to open your preferences window to the modes area here and you could set up uh, anything that you wish to set up. I'm just going to go with the default for right now. Let's go and hit record here. We're going to get our countdown timer and what do we need? Well, I'm just going to need to book a flight in this case because uh, my hotel is going to be booked through um, the conference website here. So we're going to hit uh, flights. Every time I click, we're going to hear that little snapshot sound that's typical of the uh, software simulation. I'm going to go down to the city here. and I'm going to click on that. And I happen to know my airport code for Toronto International Airport. I should because I used to work there. Oh, Toronto International Airport. And we are flying to Vegas. So I don't know the airport code, so I'm just going to type in Vegas. And of course, it comes up there. I do know that I probably want to fly into McCarran. And the conference is... in October. And... I won't really be booking it at this moment here, but let's say I wanted to stay for the whole week. So I'll fly down on the Monday. And what I'll do is I'll come back on the Friday. And my wife wants to come with me, so I'm going to go to adults. And we'll do a search. So that's basically it. We'll stop at this point here. And the easiest way to stop is to just click on the uh, Adobe Captivate icon in your toolbar. And that's going to finish the recording. So there's my recording there, my software simulation. It's just a regular non-responsive project at this point. I can actually save as responsive. Now I'm going to get this HTML5 tracker here, uh, and I of course can check to see to make sure that there's no uh, nothing incompatible with HTML5. So we'll go back, save as responsive. We'll click on save, and we'll save that to our desktop. Now it's going to open up that project again. And one of the things that you'll notice is that now there's this blue outline of what we're going to see if we were to look at this on responsive. So I can actually move that to where it's appropriate for each one of these slides. So in this case here, I'm going to reposition that blue outline so I can see where the focus area is going to be and we can make sure that it's selecting the correct areas and panning and moving into position for us here. So we'll just get down here at the bottom here and make sure we've captured the most appropriate spot on the screen here. 
I would say that I would probably want to focus on where the final clicking position is going to be. So in this case here, I'm increasing the, well, this is a little tricky here. I think the plus is where we want it to be, but we'll find out. <laughs> Uh, this may or may not work. I think that looks pretty good. So let's do a preview of this project and see what we end up with. Now, because this is responsive design, this is going to open up in a browser window, and we should be able to see the different appropriate panning and zooming that's necessary. Now, of course, at first we're seeing the full width of the screen, but let's see what happens when we reduce this down to as small as possible here. So you can see that it's positioning the page most appropriately for the different sizes and the different locations on the screen where I'm clicking and doing neat stuff. So obviously, like all software simulation, I'm going to need to finesse this a little bit. But as you can see, it works rather well with capturing just the focus area that needs to be trained for your learners. If you thought this video was useful, please share it with your colleagues. If you need help with your next e-learning project, consider hiring me. My focus is to create effective e-learning that helps you achieve your business goals. Visit my website at CaptivateTeacher.com, follow me on Twitter at PaulWilsonLD, and don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel.